Good morning, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I currently have no voice right now. Um, I went out this weekend, um, was yelling with my friends, and it's gone. So I'm really sorry that you have to hear this for this intro. Today we are doing a leg workout, um, hopefully like a glute focused leg workout. So excited to share it with you. Mariah's gonna film, she'll probably be in the video too. Um, my last workout video was also a light workout. Um, it's kind of been hard trying to get to the gym and film with my camera. One, because if it's busy, I just feel kind of awkward with it still. But whatever, we're going today, and it's just, I work out a lot, alone a lot of the time, so it's, it's a little difficult. Anyways, um, we're going to the gym today to do legs. I feel like the past like year, year and a half, like my biggest, I guess like fitness transformation has been like my legs and my glutes and I get a lot of questions about how I've grown it and everything like that so as much as like diet takes a big part in growing like your muscles and everything like that obviously so does exercise so on my Instagram page I do a lot of trying to do like different workouts for you guys be creative show you different ways to like work your legs work your glutes everything like that but I'm gonna show you basically just like a staple leg workout in my workout routine is so usually just like squats, sometimes deadlifts, Bulgarian split squats, hip thrusts, like my burnouts, glute activation. I just kind of wanted to show you like a typical workout that I normally do. I post a lot of my normal workouts on Instagram, but I try to do like keep it creative, keep it simple, that kind of thing. But I just wanted to show you my basic like workout. That's all I'm really trying to say. So I hope you enjoy it. Right now I'm just eating um, some oatmeal and I have my celery juice, which I usually have in the mornings. So that's usually what I will eat before a leg workout or just before the gym in general. So I will show you that and yeah. I've been obsessed with that drawing game on Snapchat because it reminds me of Draw Something. I used to always play that. Um, I've been playing with Kelsey. Had to pull my hair down and put on a filter so I don't scare away all your subscribers. But hi Sid, I miss you. This is a really weird angle. You guys are on my counter right now, but that's fine. We're going to the gym. Wanted to show you the supplements I'm taking. So this is my BCAAs. This is just the Skyvation Extend BCAAs. Supports muscle growth, recovery, and replenishes electrolytes. This tastes like pineapple juice. It's so good. So I just put scoop in this. In we go. Very nice. Um, and I'll put some ice in there. I don't take pre-workout because um, caffeine doesn't really like my body. So. Sometimes I have coffee and I'm fine, but like I just, I don't need pre workout. Um, but if I am needing like something, I take the Vegas Sport Energizer, which is also from Popeyes. Um, it's just a acai berry and it increases energy and it doesn't have caffeine in it. It's like, it's like a nap. Oh, that went in my nose. It's just like very natural looking. It honestly looks like nutritional yeast. Um, it just tastes like sweet berries. Like it literally has um, brown rice syrup, palm nectar, uh, blackberry, strawberry, raspberry, acai, and pomegranate flavors, citric acid, red beet powder. Like, it's just very natural. And it obviously has like sugar in it, and it's just an energizer. And I really like this. It doesn't feel like you've had a cup of coffee. It just kind of makes you feel a little more awake. That is that. I will see you at the gym. I don't know why I put this angle like this, but that's fine. I think Mariah is here. So, let's go work some legs, bye. Are you ready Hi. for the freaking gym? Oh, you scared me. <laughs> okay, so we're starting off this workout with 10 minutes of an incline walk. So here we're just doing a speed of around three and an incline of 11. Just gonna go until we break a sweat and feel warmed up throughout our body. And then we're going straight into glute activation. So here I'm doing some banded glute bridges, pushing through my heel and my big toe, and then pushing my hips to the sky, and then doing an abduction at the top, really squeezing my glutes hard here to activate them. And then we're also going into some single leg glute bridges. Again, the same movement. This will just require more balance and stability, but you'll be um, feeling your other glute more, the one that's planted on the ground. And then we're moving straight into some lateral walks. So I'm doing five lateral walks to the right and then going into three squats and then three lateral walks to the left and then again, three squats. So this is just gonna open up your hips and it's also going to activate your gluteus medius on the side and yeah. And then our last glute activation are just some kickbacks. But here I'm kind of going in like a diagonal. I'm not going directly back. And again, this just kind of makes me feel it more in my side glute as well. So just trying to activate all parts of my glutes.
So for our first exercise, we're gonna be doing banded hip thrusts. Here I'm doing a weight where I can perform probably 10 to 12 reps. So this will be my working weight. So I'm gonna be doing one to two sets using this weight. And then in my next set, I'm going to increase the weight and then perform around six to eight reps. So now I've added a 25 pound to each side. So now I'm doing around six to eight reps, really focusing on getting that full repetition, going all the way down, making my way back up, pushing my hips to the sky and back and squeezing my glutes. And here is Mia's set. So again, you can see that she's making that full rep, bringing her plates down, bringing her torso down and her glutes down with her, keeping her head tucked in and making sure that she's pushing her glutes up, but not to the point where she's overextending her hips where she can potentially hurt her back. We're gonna be supersetting the hip thrusts with just some Romanian deadlifts using dumbbells. So here we're really focusing on pushing our glutes back and hinging at our hips and then using our hamstrings and our glutes to feel that stretch and pull back up to the starting position. Um, you shouldn't be feeling any pain in your back. This is solely your glutes and your hamstrings for the most part. Of course, any deadlift is gonna work your back, but we're trying to focus on our glutes and hamstrings here and really focusing on keeping those dumbbells close to your shins as possible and not letting them go forward or backwards. And now for our fifth and final set, we just chose a weight that we were confident we could do at least 15 reps of. So we chose a lighter weight and just honestly repped it out, tried to do as many reps as we could and added that band just for more tension and really squeezed our glutes. And I feel like this is a perfect burnout for a hip thrust because even though it's light, it's so hard. Our next exercise are Bulgarian split squats. So these have honestly changed my leg days. I'm not even joking. These will make your quads and your hamstrings, but honestly your glutes so, so sore. Um, you can see that Mariah and I have a little bit different footing in this. I have my toes tucked under, but she has her toes on the bench. But honestly, I would just say, do what feels best for you and where you feel it in your glutes and quads the most. We supersetted this just with some body weight jumping Bulgarian split squats. Even though this is body weight, after doing heavy weight with these, they are so killer. My quads are burning. Supersetting with these are perfect because you're also working your muscular endurance this way. Honestly, these kind of leave me out of breath, but they also really burn out my quads and glutes. Our next exercise are gonna be sumo stance pause squats. So I'm in a sumo position, wider than shoulder width apart with my toes pointed outwards. We're gonna be stopping at the bottom of our squat, pausing for a second and making our way back up. So here you can see me pausing for a good second and then coming right back up and squeezing my glutes. Because I have extra long legs, here is Mariah doing it. She's around five foot seven. So of course our form is going to be a little bit different because she doesn't have as far down to squat, but she still maintains basically the same form. You see her, she squats down, pauses for a second, and then makes her way back up and squeezes her glutes. Um, these were honestly super, super good. Having that time under tension when you're paused for a second really puts a lot of emphasis on your glutes when you're making your way back up. We're gonna be supersetting our sumo squats with some goblet squats. Again, I'm still kind of using a sumo stance here with my toes pointed out and a little bit of a wider stance. I'm using a band just for more tension because the dumbbell is heavy, but not as heavy as I could normally squat with a barbell. So because my hands aren't super strong, this just makes it a little bit harder on my glutes. Goblet squats really engage your core as well. So if your abs are kind of sore the next day, that's probably why, because you're kind of staying in more of an upright position with goblet squats. All of the weight is transferring more to your front rather than your back like you would a barbell squat. Our final superset for this workout are going to be laying down hamstring curls. So here, the one thing you wanna focus on is making sure your hips stay on the machine and don't lift up so your lower back isn't getting engaged. So all of the weight is directly on your hamstrings and your glutes. Mariah and I used kind of a lighter weight for this and tried to go for around 15 reps just to really burn out our hamstrings. When Mariah went, she did have to adjust it to a different height setting for her. So make sure that when you use it, that it's at the right setting for you, because if it's not adjusted to your height, then the workout's not gonna be as efficient as if it was properly adjusted. We're gonna be super setting the hamstring curls just with single leg glute bridges. This is just body weight. We did, I think, 10 on each leg. The full workout will be in the description box and I'll have all the sets and reps nicely laid out for you so it makes it easier. 
And just for this exercise, we're really, again, focusing on pushing up with that glute. And these are more of a slow and controlled movement, just making sure that we have that activation in that glute. And the hamstrings will also be engaged, especially from just doing the hamstring curls previously. These will really burn out your glutes and your hamstrings, which is super nice. So that was our freaking workout. I really hope you enjoyed it. I still don't have a voice. Mm, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. So, um, if you guys like videos like this, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment because I'm hopefully gonna film a back and bicep workout. Are you looking? I just so slouched down. I know, cause that's, this is how I would normally sit in my car. <laughs> so, I will talk to you very soon and goodbye.